Hey everyone, um, I have a 64 column text mode working with Coco VGA and um, thanks to Alan Huffman's um, uh, webpage about how to put a 64K Coco into all RAM mode, I've patched basic and uh, um, I guess I should also mention the unraveled books were indispensable for that. Um, and uh, so anyway, let me, let me uh, demonstrate it for you here. So as I said, this is putting the Coco in all RAM mode. I'm, I'm using P mode four, um, basically 2K of a 4K mode to do 64 by 32 text. And I've just copied what was on, um, you know, an address 400 hex, which is the start of the text screen into this new screen. So it sort of looks like where we, where we left off. I'm sure I can do it faster. I'm just using basic to kind of get this uh, prototyped. So, okay, so now we're in a 64 column mode. Well, great, let's see, uh, let's see what we can do. We have the, um, the mode buttons set up so I can cycle through colors just like I could in standard text mode. Um, of course, the, the scan line modes isn't very useful uh, in this mode just because uh, it's using the full VGA resolution that I have. Um, but yeah, we can um, look at our listing. Here's the program that we use to do the patching. And um, uh, let's see, let's let's see if um, I have everything in place for print add and set reset and all that good stuff. Oh, great, we're drawing a semi graphics border on the outside, and then uh, all of this is just set reset. Uh, random locations within that border. So it looks like we're able to address all of the, um, the 2K directly. Okay, let's, um, so, you know, I, I mentioned that we're using uh, P mode four, we're using one of the 6K graphic modes. Um, it just so happens that even though the, um, the 6847 thinks it's outputting pixels, text or not text but graphics pixels um, by putting coco vga in this mode it basically interprets each byte at a time and uh, um, comprehends it as you know ascii values so um, well gee what if you're writing a basic program and you want to write a basic program that does graphics well that's kind of a problem because we're already in p mode 4 so let's um I have one of the mode buttons on the back set up so that if you hold it down, it actually switches back and forth between text and, and graphics modes. So we can do that now and we can see, you know, that that's the P mode four um, version of it. I'm not sure if you can see it right there. The cursor is blinking of what would be the text screen. And as I said, you know, a third of it is uh, the text and the rest is sort of wasted, except we're about to use it. So let's see here, run circles. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch back into the graphics mode by using that button. So there we go. Oh yeah, let's monochrome. There we go. So that's P mode four, white on black. And there's uh, P mode three one of the four color modes. Uh, still cycle through all of our features using the buttons on the back. And then yeah, hit break. Oh, look at that. We've got, we're back to text. So anyway, um, I think that's all I had for right now. Uh, uh, hopefully everybody found it interesting. Thanks for watching.